What's up, y'all? What's going on? Uh, I've only heard this very, very few, and I, I heard a little bit more on the news in the middle of the night, about 2 o'clock in the morning, something like that, when most people are asleep. Well, it turns out FEMA is putting out several warnings and telling people to stock up on this, do this, do this, yada, yada, prepare for what, you know. And they're throwing out a bunch of ambiguous things or whatever. Well, it could be a power outage. It could be this. It could be that or what, you know. <laughs> sure. Also turns out Finland and Sweden, <laughs> they share... A little bit of a or quite a bit of a border with Russia and they have already told their people to prepare for a larger conflict with Russia yeah China has already been telling their people that they're at war with the US and they have been I, I, I think for about the past year or more so if you're not paying attention you really need to Okay, there's too many people spending too much time on these damn things and not really digging for what really, you know, is going on. You look at the, there are several things, like I say, Monkey Works is one of the biggest ones because he tells you the things that are moving around the world. Who's doing what, okay, what type of aircraft and this kind of thing. And if you can look at it from the bigger picture, it will kind of let you know what everything is going on. And I can tell you from being a history buff for all my life, we are being set up for an internal invasion. They're already blaming everything on the white people and all this trying to, you know what I mean, trying to still keep this division up. But there's more more black folks and and i mean i run into them and I talk to them all the time mexicans and black folks and all that and they're not falling for this shit they're not they're saying oh they, they can't wait for trump to come back that's what everybody's saying so they're still spewing a bunch of bullshit but while everybody else in the whole world mexico south america even australia singapore taiwan vietnam all of them over there Everybody, Japan, everybody. Saudis are are pretty much, you know, trying to uh, smooth up to other people and all because they know that America, under the Biden administration, they it's not so good. Well, there is the world economic stuff happening, and. Everybody with this BRICS nations, they're coming up with their own currency, pushing the U.S. dollar out, okay? <clears throat> now, on the world market, that's where it's really going to matter because people are not going to be using the U.S. dollar, and that falls on us because all of our prices will go up. That's just the way it is. If your money loses uh, value, power on the world market, well, it drops it. Our credit rating has been dropped a couple of times under Biden alone. Yeah. Everybody is gearing up for war, y'all. Everybody. Why do you think Biden's doing everything what they can to uh, everything from ammo, reloads, and things like that? Uh, people that are getting uh, the government contracts to sell ammunition to the government. Some of them had said, no, they're not going to sell them any at all. But there's others that are jumped in there because the U.S. government is paying top dollar for it. Yeah. So every time you think about what it takes for us to survive, live, thrive, and take care of ourselves... Every goddamn bit of it's being screwed with. All of it. So, I know there's not a whole lot of truth 
that I can tell you to go watch and all, but I can tell you the, uh, what is it, uh, the next news network, Mark Dice is a very, very good source of information about what's going on in the back door, back room kind of thing because he likes to read and he finds all that stuff because he's been doing it for so long he knows where to look to find it. All you have to do is Google all of the uh, <clears throat> Democrats that have been arrested for child porn. Okay? Uh, all of the Democrats and Biden's administration that have been arrested for fraud, for embezzlement, robbery, and all kinds of things while they, they're working for Biden. So there's so much stuff, y'all, that's going on behind the scenes that they are doing their damnedest to keep everything down, keep it pushed down, but it's starting to bubble through the gaps and they're not being able to stop it. That's why they want all these other people to come in, let all these un-American assholes come over here, be cops, lawyers, mayors, governors, and all this other kind of shit. Yes, because they know they hate us on the world market and the world stage. It's just been put this way, George Soros, Klaus Schwab, a lot of people that have a lot of money that hated the U.S. for a long time have been working on this for a long time. And they've got everybody in their, hot, their hip pocket from YouTube to TikTok and all those assholes. Yep. So, y'all take it the way that you want, man. I mean, this is what's happening. We have to start gearing up to get ready because they want to come over here and take over and then take over your house, the whole nine yards. Yeah, the governments are literally starting to force people out of their homes so they can sell them to these people at a very, very, very existential price, if you get my drift, because they don't know no better. That's some of the nicest things that they've ever had is when they're here in the U.S. Look at our homes compared to the people around the world and all how they live. South America and all that, they come here and they see a three-bedroom, two-bath, two-car garage, brick home and all that kind of stuff in the middle of the neighborhood. You don't think they don't like that? You damn right. And especially if the government's putting them in there. Yep. See how that works? They're already doing it over there in China. They're taking dojos. People have had those things in their uh, family for generations. And they go over there in the middle of the night and kick them out. Tell them, give me your ownership papers to this and all that. And they kick them out on the street. They don't even let them go back in and get any of their stuff. They kick them out, lock the door, take their papers and tell them, go. This don't belong to you no more. Yeah. They're doing it in the banks and all that, and Bank of America and Chase and Wells Fargo. They are all having their legality things chase their asses down because all this crooked shit that they've done is biting them in the ass now. So you see what I mean? I, I know and I see so much stuff and I talk to different people and this is only a part of it, y'all. I know it sounds like a bunch of bullshit and it is, but it's all true. It's all very true bullshit. Sorry to say. But all I can do is try to warn y'all as much as I can. TikTok, they're, they gave me account warning. I, they're, they're just watching me every freaking time. You know. So, yeah. Y'all do me a favor. Share this. Like this. Just do me a favor and help do whatever you can to help me get the message out. Because I'm telling y'all things that you're not going to see all in one place. And this matters to me, so I know it'll matter to you. See, that's what I'm doing, y'all. God bless the United States of America. Screw you commies, you know the drill. Y'all have a good one. Ready up, prep up. Later, patriots.